Christian era Rome. The empire had grown beyond its means, and the rule of the Senate elders had begun to fray at the edges. of Rome were exhausted, continually defending her from hostile neighboring states. As the power struggle ensued in the political arena, the quality of Roman life declined. The empire was racked by chaos. It was then that a great man appeared and changed the fate of Rome. Julius Caesar, the most celebrated hero Rome had ever seen. One after another, disturbances were squelched and discontent alleviated under his competent dominion. With the rule of Julius Caesar, all who inhabited Rome waited hopefully for the coming of the Pax Romana, or Peace of Rome. But it was not to last. Despite her citizens' wishes, Rome was once again sucked into the vortex of violence and destruction.
You're on.
refuse to end my days in this place. Not like that. file there we go that's the first save okay chapter one the wickedness of men a marvelous madness has invaded not only the wicked but even those who are held to be good all right let's uh do it and now like my other games i'll probably play this Here as well. Centurion Agrippa. Okay. There is no doubt of it. It is certain that it belonged to a Roman messenger, sir. So, they have been captured. That's not good. It has not been long since they left. We shall separate and look for them. Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, 44 BC, Rome has embarked on a campaign to the Germanic territory. Endeavoring to fully secure its realm during the battle, a group of warming messengers disappeared suddenly while in the enemy's territory. Order to prevent the spread of confidential information by science, troops have been dispatched to the force of Germania. Alright, so this is where Agrippa and King. This next button. They went, we could pursue them.
There's a lookout for it nearby the view, however, is obscured by thick and nice fog. Only as far as this. Alright, let's go to this point. You seem to be alone here, sir. The enemy must have withdrawn from the area. Please tell me if you need anything. What is sir? Tell the man it's time to mobilize. That is enough. Let us move forth. Centurion! go. We got something. It's the enemy's fort. They must be close. Alright, so we're close to the enemy fort. So, what's next? Oh, this is where we're Octavian is. We must hurry! The cremation of the assassinated Julius Caesar took place in the Foro Romano, Foro Romano as the raging flames reduced Rome's former ruler to ashes. All who looked on were struck by the poignancy of his all too early demise. Hear me, my fellow Romans. Hmm. And here comes Cicero, champion of the Senate. We, the members of the Senate, have found the man responsible for the grotesque slaying of oh, our hero, now. Julius Caesar. <laughs> it is the traitor of Rome, Vipsanius. Vipsanius? That is Agrippa's father. He cannot be. <laughs> it is not true. I did not kill Caesar! I would never do such a thing! Silence! Men of Rome, I shall now announce the successor to the hero Julius Caesar. The man who shall ascend as the just ruler of our great nation. Antonius! Antonius? Who are you? People of Rome! As Caesar has expressed in his will, I, Antonius, shall step up as his rightful successor. I shall hereby take up an oath on my honor to dedicate my life to the glory of Rome! Yeah! I cannot believe that Vipsanius would do such a thing. March 15th, the ideas of March. Julius Caesar had been assassinated and his broken body discovered in the hall of Pompeii. He was on his way to the Senate where a meeting regarding the part campaign was to be held. His body was marked by no less than 30, 23 stab wounds. This tragic event has cast a dark shadow over the previous and peaceful and prosperous city of Rome. Alright, so, uh, he's been assassinated. It's not, he's a murderer. They're driving with him. Okay, so we're off to this. 
that Vipsani is the culprit and that Antonius is the rightful person to take his spot. So uh, right. That's all that's going around is the death of uh, Julius Caesar and Vipsanius was when I killed him. This is not a child's playground. Please tell me, is Vipsanius the true murderer of our Caesar? What a strange question you ask, boy. What is your name? I am Octavianus, nephew of Julius Caesar. Ah, his nephew. Well, I regret to tell you that I witnessed the deed. Vipsanius had Caesar's blood on his hands. We shall know more tomorrow after the Senate meeting. Go home now. Yeah, right. If there's blood all over his hands, that doesn't mean he was that doesn't mean he was trying to kill him as well. He could be trying to help him. Why would Agrippa's father slay Caesar? I must speak to the Senate. This must be a misunderstanding. What troubles you, young man? Who are you? Who are you? Have you forgotten old Pansa, good Octavianus? Let's see what goes on. So we got some enemies here. Be careful.
go. One guy down. Next cutscene. <sighs> That's not good. It's a Roman guard. Five. 
try four key. Okay, should there is there a save anywhere?
No! Centurion, I am sorry. So sorry. I have a message. We shall talk later. Caesar has been assassinated. What? Did you say that somebody has assassinated Caesar? Speak! I only know that he was assassinated at the Senate House. I have heard nothing else. That is absurd. It cannot be possible. I see. That's not true. Now I understand why no amount of torture would make them talk. The time for the Germanic tribes has come! You will all bow to me. Silence! No barbarian has the power to crush mighty Rome! Ah!
Centurion! Take him away! Finish me! Let me die! Centurion! What is the matter? Caesar is dead. He has been assassinated. What? What? Hurry. We must return to the Foro Romano. Date up to this point. Let's do it. Please select memory card. Alright. Save. Save successful. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna pause it here for now because um basically Yeah, I'm gonna save here for now because basically I've been playing long enough. And uh oh, so yeah. Uh that isn't that bad playing this game for the first time um so yeah i'm gonna end it here uh so like i like what happened caesar's dead antonius is the new um leader and um yeah so now we have to find out what's happening if you like this video please leave a like comment down below and if you want to subscribe to my channel watch all the game content this has been lance gaming peace out